all right guys how are you all doing i'm fiesto here and today we have some good amount of news firstly we have geekbench 5 having a score of that's a massive amount of score uh for that's a weird way to say it but yeah for 17,713 kudos score and this is for the 4090 that's right and if you look into it right here nvd of geforce rtx 4090 maximum frequency at 2.58 gigahertz and it's getting a score of four uh again 14 17 thousand seven hundred thirteen so that's a lot of score and if you look into some com comparison here in wcc app tech uh, article here and if you look into here right here terry and the ti is at 260k versus 4090 is getting 424 basically what i've shown you li literally the same thing and by comparison it is 60 percent faster in geekbench so it's already looking like the restoration performance will look good even though we've seen it that some benchmark didn't really offer that well but to be honest with you this gigs geekbench score looks promising even though this is a synthetic benchmark not sure what the gaming benchmark will look like so We'll have to wait for the reviews, I guess. Next up, Gigabyte unveiling their GeForce RTX 4090 Aorus Water Force GPU. And it will, it will be coming with a 360mm AIO water cooler, as you can see right here. And, well, it looks gigantic. That is for sure. The aesthetic is like gunmetal-y look. I like that. It's good, beautiful, and uh, obviously the... AIO water cooler is right there, as you can see. And so, we also have more of that, and that is Colorful also bringing in their own uh, AIO water cooler. It's gonna, it's gonna call Neptune, RTX 4090 Neptune series, I guess, from Colorful. And this is another one from MSI, and that's gonna be Supreme X with the AIO, so there are going to be three variants we're already looking at. Gigabyte, Colorful, and MSI bringing in their liquid-cooled 4090, which is, again, great. But the pricing, of course, we don't know that yet because they haven't enclosed it, but by looking at the pricing previously, it's going to be expensive. I'm guessing like 1700 1800 hopefully not 2 k just hoping, hoping, you know. Asus, however, they're literally going for 2 k pricing, so yeah. Next up, the YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead providing some deals here. And if you look into it, it says free 32 gigs DDR5 5600 in Micro Center if you buy a Ryzen 7 or a 9 7000 series processor. So, honestly, that's a good deal. Free DDR5 5600 modules, G skill, of course. If you buy the 7000 series of Ryzen 7 and 9. So that's great. That is really great. Like we all know that DDR5 pricing is very expensive. And now you're getting free 32 gigs. Not a bad deal. Honestly. Next up we have Fantex announcing their 4000 series water blocks here. And if you look into this. It looks nice. Some purple red-ish accents. You know a mixture of both. And it looks okay. Yeah, it looks nice. Not bad. And it's gonna look good in this kind of build here. They've provided this Glacier for G40 uh, prototype here. Or not really a prototype. The product is here already. But yeah, you can see it. It's gonna look good in this kind of aesthetics. Hopefully you can change the color though. Because what if someone doesn't like this kind of aesthetics? But for me, it's gonna be a white color if I buy one, obviously. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how these bills will look like for me they, sh they should have some kind of white accent you know i like white it's nice to see and lastly we have intel xcs's ga uh, gaming benchmark using amd and nvidia gpus coming from tom's hardware and he's listing some benchmarks here and as you can see 6700 xt having if you, if you look into it 107.8 using uh, XESS, Intel XESS on Shadow of the to Tomb Raider on DX12, basically. Uh, and the native, if you look into it, it was 99.1. So, not a big difference if you look into it. It's not a huge difference, 
it's okay-ish, like 7 FPS, I would say like 7% increase in performance, or maybe 8%, yeah, 8% increase in performance, so not a big increase, again, it's on 1440p, so yeah, not a big increase in uh, this title using the 6700 XT, if you look into 6600 XESS, also not a big gain, the native is 64, 6600 XESS is 67.8, so not a big deal of increase and it goes to show that all of them is not looking like a big jump in performance however in nvidia's title if you look into it the 3080 12 gigs xcss is getting 151 compared to native 134 not a bad not a bad increase but it's better to use dlss here because using dlss you're gonna you're gonna get 167 which is much better than intel xcss so again xcss in this title is not looking that great for sure but in 3060 xcss dlss and x uh, dlss and xcss the performance uh there's an increase for sure but compared to native a very substantial increase so not bad not bad either but to be honest when you have dlss support in this game why would you want to use xcss anyway right but it just tells you the performance increase as you can see not a bad increase, just DLSS is superior superior here. But what about the games that don't support DLSS, right? In those circumstances, FSR and XCSS will dominate because we already know that FSR will sub will be supporting. Oh, same goes to XCSS. Will be supporting in more titles. Same goes to DLSS. So yeah, it really depends on which game supports what technology, and if it supports both or the all three technologies you will depend it will be depending on the you know the performance and the visual quality so yeah looking like xcs is not bad to be honest with you it's looking good like for example in this one amd doesn't support dlss stuff so and also the episode doesn't support here so the only only available technology here is xcs so three frames not bad right all right that is it for today hopefully you enjoyed the videos like comment share and of course, subscribe and tell me what you think about the 4090s getting, uh, you know, the pricing. We've already seen the previous video, the, the pricing has been crazy. Now, the water blocks are here, so as I guess it's great. And what do you think about the XESS? Do you think it's going to be beneficial? Hopefully it is, because new tech, free FPS, we all appreciate that, don't we? Anyway, have a good day.